Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was up at Nichols Paint and Fab's annual shindig, and they had some great Poupon up there. A 1949 Jaguar that they did. Very cool, very unique. I think y'all are going to like it. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll check it out. Justin, what's up, brother? How it goes, it's Scotty. Man, just getting big, back from that uh, big shindig you had, trying to get everything put together and show the public what fun we had and what cool things you got going on. It was a lot, man. I'm still not rested up. Uh, the whole day Sunday, I took a nap before I went to bed. So <laughs> I'm still a little tired, but it's all good. Right on. And, I, you know, I know I speak for everybody that attended. A big thank you to Nichols Paint and Fab, yourself, Megan, all the employees, everybody that helped out. Man, we just had an awesome time. It was fun. And you know, family kind of deal, no problems, no drama, no nothing, just sunshine and cool cars and having a good time, some bands and good food to eat. So from me to you, from everybody, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, thank you, and I appreciate everybody being here. We had a good turnout and couldn't have asked for a better day. Tell me about this uh, Jaguar you got going on, uh, Gray Poupon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so this thing's a 49 Jaguar. The customer reached out to me a few years ago, and he's like, hey, I want a Jaguar built. And I'm like, eh, that's kind of not what we do. But we started talking back and forth a little bit, and I'm like, okay, I can get into this. So we, uh, <laughs> it showed up on a trailer from uh, some place out by California. I guess it's kind of a rare car. I'm, I'm not really up to speed on the Jaguar stuff, but he's yeah. like, I want it all modern. I want it all drivable. So we, we took the stock chassis and modified the heck out of it, put a fat man fabrication front end under it, Ford 9-inch LS3. We did the Borla induction, built the custom exhaust, modern trans, um, all this brakes. The thing runs, stops, and it's just, it's honestly probably the best driving car that we've built. You can get in it, it'll be burnouts, you can go down the road at 60, 70 mile an hour, it don't matter. Yeah, I got to ride in it. I thought that. I, I'll be honest with you. I think the seating position is a little unique in those cars. But um, other than that, I thought, man, this. Yeah, you could ride this thing to California. You're 100 percent right. I mean, the seats are weird in it, but that, that's how they came, and that's what he wanted. I, I mean, he wanted a custom interior, but he wanted the seats for some reason. So, uh, but yeah, we did a bunch of body modifications. Um, you know, custom paint. We re reworked all the fenders, got rid of a bunch of the accessory lights on the front, put Nerf bars on there instead of the big clunky bumpers they had. Uh, the rear bumper is, it's a little bit of the stock and a little bit of a Camaro, and then we integrated the exhaust into it, so it kind of just goes away. Um, you don't really see it. And it's on air ride, too, so it's a level ride air. Uh, so it, it's all smart, and you fire it up, and it goes right to the right height, and then if you go to the the drive through and you're on an angle it'll level itself out so the car sits straight and it's 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 just all good stuff and it was it was a fun build man right and i think you know with the shape and the style i mean i don't know how many people are going to look at it and know what it originally looked at looked like so that you can tell what changes have been made to it one of those cars you know once you get over the ego of i like american rear wheel drive v8 cars you know and look at the car it's got really beautiful lines to it. And I mean, the whole car is really impressive. Just the car part, not the addition will work you all did makes it even that much more so, but just the original lines and, and how the fenders flow and eh, it's got that long nose, which, you know, we're not opposed to in the street ride game. And so I think it fits right in. It does. It's uh, like if Austin Powers was going to have a street rod, <laughs> that's, that's probably what it would look like. <laughs> I agree. Now, I am a little concerned for those because those are true wire wheels you have on that thing. Yeah, they're straight from Dayton's. They're actual knockoffs. You, 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 that LS ain't going to twist those? They they promised me it would be 100% fine. Yeah. And they're strong wheels, too. They're they're and Dayton's got it going on. They know what's up, and and they promised me that it would hold up to the horsepower and torque. So, and they have so far, no yeah, issues. Right, and I guess the customer just came and picked it up. Yeah, we actually delivered it to them. Uh, they're up by uh, Chicagoland area, just north of there, and uh, it, and they love it. They drove it as soon as it got off the trailer in the rain, wiper going and everything. Oh, so goodness. they're they're just they're ready to drive. They're ready to go have fun with it, and and that's what this car is. It is. It's a driver. It's not just a a show pig you know they're they're gonna use it and 
just enjoy life. And I don't blame them. Had they been Jaguar fans for a long time? Did they, you know, I mean, what was the connection to a Jaguar for them? Yeah, this has been his, uh, his, I guess you could call it dream car for, for years. And him and his wife were finally in a position to get it done, and they did it. Anybody you need to give a shout-out to, brother? Uh, you know, as always, we use Dakota Digital for everything. Uh, they've got the gauge set up in there for us. Um, you know, it, it ties in well with the Boss Holster stuff. Um, the Glass Guy Chicago, you know, Brian Harding does all our glass work. It looks pretty dang good. It's the tinted glass. Um, the finishing touch in uh, the Chicago area did the miles of chrome on this thing, and it is flawless. The whole team, you know, just knocked out the metal work and just got it done and the body work and paint and from day one to the last day. Right on. What color is it? So this is like a British racing green, kind of. He brought down a little sample, and we had to tweak and modify a few things, but we got exactly what he wanted. And then uh, he wanted that really light green color on the bottom, which <clears throat> we couldn't find one that really went with it. So we made that one also, which is kind of what we do on about every build. Every one is a little bit unique. Yeah, it's almost a house color. The light yeah, color, right. right? You know, something you, <laughs> you'd walk into the house and see. But hey, if anybody can pull that off, <laughs> right? <laughs> if anybody can pull that off, it's you. Oh, thanks, man. Cool car, great build. What else do we got to, to look forward to from Nichols Paint and Fab? Oh, there are so many things getting ready to come out of here. You, you've seen, you've seen what's going on. But uh, you know, I think, I think the next one is going to be a uh, a nice little coupe. That's all I'll say right now. So. Right. I got to ask, what about the, what about the uh, Camaro that's in bare metal? That looks like uh, that's a car that's going to be very interesting to me. Yeah, the, the Pro Street one? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that thing's wicked, isn't it? Um, yeah. So that's for a good customer we got. It's a, uh, it's a total custom Pro Street, you know, big tire car that he's going to drive on the street with an LSX. Um, we've done a bunch of metal work under the hood. So it's, it's show car driver, drag car. Uh, that'll that'll be out in the shows here uh, the next year, year or so. Cool. Any idea what color it's going yet? Yeah, it's going to be a really goofy looking orange. Cool. You know I love yeah. orange. Cobalt. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right on. <laughs> well, brother, I'll tell you. You know, I, I again, I love the unique. I think y'all killed it with a gray poupon. It's, you know, what else could you call it? Right? I mean, that's just, it, no matter what you would have named that car, that's what we would have called it. That's what the industry would have called it. We would have just called it Grey Poupon. You know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> right on. Well, I'm not, I know you're busy there. You know, I know you got a hundred things going on. If people want to a follow what you're doing, what's the best way to do that? And the, the, the most recent contents on Facebook, just, just honestly put Nichols Paint and Fab in anything and you'll find us. Awesome. Brother, again, thanks so much for the time this morning. Thank you, and thanks for everything you do, buddy. You're welcome. So there you go from Nichols Paint and Fab, a very cool 1949 Jaguar. Great Poupon. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Y'all make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.